UGD coming at you with the range report of the Kimber Rimfire Target 22 Long Rifle. And if you saw my first look, uh, yeah, I had a little bit of a man crush on this bad boy. It's a Kimber, well built. Machine parts are excellent. Fit and finish, it's all there. But there's a problem. The gun won't run. I could not get the gun to run. I spent an hour and a half with my wife trying to get this gun to run at the range today, and we had zero success. In fact, we had a failure rate close to 25% on this gun. 25%. Two rounds of magazine. And the frustration just kept building and building and building. And frankly, guys, I don't think I've ever been more disappointed in a firearm than this Kimber. And I'll give you a little uh, taste of what we ran through this gun. We started off with a little CCI Blazer. Fellas, this is 1,200 feet per second. We jumped over to the Aguila. Super extra, high velocity, 1,200 feet per second. We even ran some Federal garbage bulk ammo. And again, the Champion rates at 1,200 feet per second. We thought we'd kick it up a notch. Ran some Winchester, 40 grain, 1,300 feet per second. Gun will not run. Everybody on the forum said, yeah, finicky with ammo, but boy, if you got the mini mag 40 grain, 1235 feet per second, no problems. The gun would not run it. I even broke out the big old box of tactical ammo. 1200 feet per second. Would not run it. When you get down to that, there's only one last thing to do. You got to break out the stinger. Drink that label in, fellas. I'm going to give you a close-up of that because that is, uh, that is some vintage awesomeness there. Yeah, this is uh, older ammo, but it's still popping out at 1,600 feet per second. It's CCI Stinger. And again, we could not get the gun to run. It would not eat any of this. And I have run into one gun that did that to me. It was the ISSC Target Pistol. One of the most accurate guns I ever shot, but it would not run. Throw a picture of that up there. That's a $250 piece of garbage made over in Austria. This is a Kimber... Yonkers, New York, USA. This is a Yankee gun. It ought to run. Uh, frankly, absolutely, absolutely disappointing. But that's part of buying guns, finding out what works and what doesn't work. Um, and I assure you, you know, took the gun apart. It's clean. It's lubed. It should run. There's no excuses for the gun. Uh, and of course, when you buy a used gun, there's no warranty with it. You own it. So I'm kind of stuck with this Kimber Rimfire Target that, uh, yeah, it's disappointing, fellas. So, to give you an idea, every ammo, everything, every ammo on the table had failure to fires around 20, 25%. And as I keep rolling in the footage, I understand owning a 22 long rifle pistol. You're going to have some failure to feeds. It's going to happen. But to have two rounds out of 10... Three rounds out of 10, it got ridiculous. Uh, after 150 rounds, we just put the gun up, said, can't try anymore. It's too expensive. Need to find a gun that does work. Oddly enough, we're testing a Smith & Wesson M&P 22C. It ran everything right out of the box. This gun started, and I'm going to roll this in. This is the first magazine out of this gun. This gun was clean, lubed, ready to go, and this is what happened. So this is UGD, a little disappointed, you know, really was excited about having a Kimber, my first Kimber. It's just so well built, feels so good in the hands, the fit, the finish is just full on awesome. But when they don't shoot, you got to get rid of them. Thanks for watching. Hit the like if you liked it, if uh, you know, you think I am should be doing something else with my free time. Hit the dislike, check out my other videos, and subscribe. Die with a man's gone, not a little CC gone like this.